July 2011. That means it's eight years in the making. I don't know why I'm singing, but there you go. It's a compelling theme, so there we go. 130 subscribers in eight years is pretty pathetic. Around 62 intros, because I couldn't be bothered to count them all. 14-ish Let's Plays. There's a couple that aren't finished. Oh, and, uh, oh, hey, right. Well, that, that was an intro. That, that was very much an intro. And you're, you're staring at me, staring at, uh, well, you're not staring at me. You're staring at a blank screen right now, which is, oh, that's shocking. But what we're doing is things <laughs> can only get better. That is factually inaccurate. As specified, 130, where is it? Hang on. Uh, 130 subscribers and decreasing, so things don't have to get better. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to be assessing, as everybody may have seen, you may not have seen, but I've pieced together a, a, a rather lengthy, uh, a, a, about just shy of an hour, it is a very lengthy video featuring all of my intros over the years, or at least I'm fairly confident it's all of my intros over the years. Uh, I don't think there's any gaps. There's a few where I've got Dragon's Half Hour specials, if memory serves. Sometimes I did a full sort of like here with the extra full footage, and then a few of those featured just little end cards. So it was just the base Dragon's Half Hour intro transitioning into a little end card that said said what it was. Like the TV special, I think, was in along that vein. I must stop flittering the screen because... <laughs> You you have to remember you're not the only one uh, watching this uh, screen at the moment. Let's get back to that'll do. That's a nice little uh, place. But I've no idea how best to do this sort of retrospect. I think retrospect. I think is the word I'm after. Uh, but fuck it, we're we're gonna just dive in and have a go. So it's essentially going to be me reacting to all of these intros and giving you possibly a little bit behind the scenes, possibly just a little bit of a depressing sort of oh my god, why have I bothered for eight years type video. It's difficult to say where this is going to end up. It might suddenly be a revelation of, oh, this is why I bothered for eight years. But mm, that seems unlikely. So let's start with the intro we've just seen, because, I mean, it's an intro. I know. A fucking meta game or what. I'm, I'm channeling my inner film that did weird things that begun with an I? Eee. That's the film. It was it was big in Yorkshire because they just went eee, by gum. But anyway, yes, I, I've kind of done the ultimate thing. I wasn't sure where I was going to at first when I first came up with the idea, but then I thought, no, nah, I do want an intro. So it's essentially here's here's an intro for for a video of intros. But let's let's have a look because. There, there's a stark difference between this intro and a lot of the other ones we'll be assessing because it's the newest. It is the latest of my intros, so let's just let's just watch it calmly again, uh, so we can all enjoy it, and then I'll try and talk about it and tell you things. You don't know what you're doing, do you? No, I didn't plan this far ahead. I planned a video where I discussed the intros, not precisely how I was going to do it. God, it's like you think I actually do this as a professional thing. Fucking Jesus. Anyway, let's watch. Techno dance music. I'll talk over it, because uh, why not? Techno, 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 dance, 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 techno, 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 techno. If it's not obvious, I, I wrote the script for this video when I was not in, in the best of moods. <laughs> I, know, I shouldn't. I probably shouldn't be laughing about that, but yeah, you can, you can, you can tell by the snarky comments. <laughs> hey, at least, at least I'm an even, an equal opportunities offender. I will make snarky comments at you, and I will make snarky comments at me. So it's, it's all, all, all fair. So let's just, okay, this, this beginning bit here, that. Oh, <laughs> I'll tell you, that was a fucking accident. I had no clue. So, okay, we'll start. We'll start with the general idea of how this intro came about. 
essentially, I was just playing around in After Effects because I thought, fuck it. It's it's often you'll note later on we'll discuss it as well that these anniversary videos tend to end up being just hey, this is an ideal opportunity to just have a fuck around in After Effects. And if you've never had a fuck around in After Effects, I do recommend it. It's After Effects is a hell of a program, especially if you know what you're doing. I mean, look look what you can make when you don't know what you're doing. Imagine what you can make. The, the Mortal Kombat one is the one you can make when you know what you're doing because that was a lot of. That was based on a lot of tutorials, um, learning different techniques and stuff. But so I, I eventually ended up sort of, I wanted to use the ball, I, th I believe it is called CC ball action, which is what's turned, that you see this sort of cylindrical tunnel effect here. You can see where there's, it's made up of lots and lots of little balls, or circles technically, which is the effect CC ball action. And so I wanted to use that, and then I wanted a sort of colour shift, so I think I used... I used a lot to... So, okay. Let, I, I, let's get straight down to it. Video Copilot. Best site in the world. Without doubt. So a lot of the effects come from them. So they've got two free plugins available, at least, I think. And one of them is Colour Vibrance, which I used a lot throughout this intro. And the Saber plugin, which I have used a lot over the years. It's incredible. The stuff you can do with it is phenomenal. And as I say, this is coming from a person who knows fuck all. The stuff you can do with it if you're an actual professional After Effects user, oh, I bet it, the, the possibilities are endless. But so uh, let's break it down to just the tunnel at the moment we're focusing on. So if you note here, the tunnel starts green and then turns pink to the end. That is just, I mean, simple keyframes, but using Color Vibrance, the Color Vibrance plugin from... Uh, video copilot and then here so to make that tunnel what i did was i created a plain solid surface then ball actioned it then put on i think some noise fractal noise afterwards which is why you've got some dark circles and some very light circles that is how the fractal noise is interacting with the ball action it's fascinating as well because if you put the Fractal noise first. This has become a tutorial. What the fuck are you doing? I don't know. I'm just doing what, what I think is interesting. It's interesting to me. Might not be interesting to you. So it might be worthwhile skipping this entire series of videos. But anyway, I suppose if it was an actual tutorial, I'd actually be showing it off instead of just looking at a blank, uh, like a st st still frame. But nonetheless, what's quite interesting is the order in which you place the effect on has quite a drastic difference to what you actually get as your end phase. So if I'd wanted, say, like this planet style, that is a fractal noise. If I'd wanted that sort of cloudiness on each of these spheres, what you can do is put the fractal noise before the ball action. I didn't want that, or at least I, I, I tried it, didn't like it, put it back the way uh, this one is. Because if you put it on after the ball action, you get sort of these individual balls are differing colours. And if you really look carefully, um, you can see if you pick a ball, <laughs> if you pick a ball, any ball, any ball, pick a ball, you can see that it shifts colour as well. So not only do you get that overarching shift of green to pink, why I chose green to pink, I don't know. It's just colours. I, I, I was supposed to go back in there because I think I just chose two random colours to get the baseline of, right, keyframes in. I can change that later. I ended up going, I quite like it. I don't mind it. It's nice, isn't it? It's all right. So I left it as green to pink, which is a bit garish, but, eh, you know, it's fine. But as I say, if you picked a ball in that moment, we'll go back a bit and, and, and do the experiment again. Right, I'm going to pick this ball here. Hopefully it'll work. But if we... Hang on. Let's... Because I need it to not be... There we go. That should be it. This ball here. We'll track this ball. You can see... Oh, fuck. That... Yeah, you know what you did there? You, you picked a ball that disappeared off the screen. Yeah. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Uh, right. Okay. Let's, let's track that back. <laughs> this is why you don't do things without an absolute perfect plan. Right, we'll track that back a little bit more. Right, this time, I think if we go for that ball there that's just coming on the screen, 
because theoretically you should see the mouse cursor. If you don't, this is going to be very awkward to remember what I was pointing at. But theoretically, you should see the mouse cursor. Right, we'll, we'll track this ball, and you should note that it probably gets lighter as it turns around. Uh, there you go. See? Uh, 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 look at it. Look at it. It got lighter. <laughs> it looks light like that, isn't it? Yes. Yes, I am. But that's because the fractal noise was animated as well. So not only is the tunnel turning, the, the fractal noise on top of the ball action is also animated via its evolution, which allows the the whites and the blacks of the fractal noise to influence the colour vibrance on top of the ball action. It's all quite fascinating. And as I say, I will refer to Video Copilot several times throughout this, certainly through the second half, when I discovered After Effects was quite such a potent tool of awesomeness. You will find me sort of going, and this is this is a video copilot tutorial. This is going to be a video copilot tutorial. And, you know, this bit, this bit, this I learned from video copilot because, they, you know, the fella does such incredibly good tutorials. And I would recommend if you're trying to learn After Effects, go straight to video copilot. There is no, no better resource for finding. As I say, this text is their free um, plugin, the Sabre plugin, which for those of you unaware of what a saber would be and like if you can't make the connection yourself it's lightsabers so what you can do is not only make yourself a beautiful little lightsaber you can also attach it to text layers and you can attach it to masks and you'll note i have done both of those effects throughout these intros this one is just attached to text so it just takes the outline of the text and applies the uh, saber plugin these ones were i think moderately misty based um uh, sabers well oh, it's not technically a saber at that point but their default one is just here's a lightsaber and then the other sort of uh d um oh you're not doing well on words today are you no no i'm not the other variations i suppose will have to suffice uh templates templates is slightly better uh, but there's another, there's another word somewhere that would describe it even better. Well, you've, you, you've been a long time on this one intro. Yeah, I know. It's silly, isn't it? It's supposed to be very quick. Very quick, very brief commentary. I don't know what's happened. I've, I've gotten distracted by my own creativity. Ugh, that's nasty. <laughs> anyway, what you can see is the balls changing in the tunnel. And so that originally is just flat. That is just a flat surface in its own little composition. And that's another really awesome technique for After Effects. Will you stop just bigging up After Effects and Video Copilot? Mm -hmm. I will once we get onto the really terrible old intros of mine, because they don't use the fancy techniques of After Effects and Video Copilot. But for now, it's going to be basically just yay Video Copilot. <laughs> which I've probably said more than JDragon56 in the entirety of this video, so, hey, uh, <laughs> clearly you like them. Clearly, yes. Uh, well, what was I saying? Right, so it starts out as a flat image, and one of the awesome things you can do that I learned from Video Copilot um, in After Effects is, oh, uh, what's the bloody word? Oh my god, you're doing really poorly. Procedural, that's the word you're after. Procedural effects, which means you basically encompass something in a composition and then you work on top of that composition and then whatever you put into that composition will be affected by what you did to the composition. Don't know if that made any sense whatsoever, but think of it this way. We'll discuss it more with Mortal Kombat because that'll be moderately easily uh, doable with that. So what you can do is you... You place, say, the word... If I wanted to change 130 subscribers to something else, you'd, pl you'd place 130 subscribers as a text thing in a composition. Then on top of that composition, you would put all of your fancy effects. Then suddenly I think, oh shit, do you know what? Turns out it's 132. Hark. If you didn't prep it right with the procedural idea, you'd have to go back and do it all over again from scratch. But with procedural, you can just update it in the composition it's like little housed in and lo and behold it updates every piece of the effect and it, it's a glorious idea and technique right very briefly what we'll do background 
just fractal noise, I believe, a certain variation of fractal noise. It's not just the bass line. I was just playing with different um, drop downs that could change it up. Uh, it's then been spherized, I believe. Yeah, I think that's the one. So it's slightly sort of, it's slightly rounded to match this idea that the tunnel is heading inwards. But fu fundamentally, it just serves as, again, it does shift colour throughout the intro. Basically, almost the opposite of the tunnel I think I went for. Did you did you do it or did someone else do it? Um, I don't know. I definitely did it. I definitely made choices. But <laughs> I think I was I was trying to match sort of colour theory and stuff a little bit at least. Um, so that's just a fractal noise with colour vibrance, of course, shifted via keyframes to change colour. Very simple stuff. This planetoid type thing, and I think it looks like a planet. Do you, do you think it looks like a planet? I always thought it looked like a planet. That is, again, oh, you would be genuinely surprised how many techniques begin with a fractal noise. Fucking everything does. Fucking everything. I assure you, if you if you find an effect in After Effects that doesn't start with a fractal noise, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> That's the pattern I've found. Because damn, damn near every effect I've ever learnt or tried in After Effects is a fractal noise at its core. But this one is basically, I think it's CC Sphere, if memory serves. It might not. Uh, but nonetheless, it basically just turns a flat plane into a sphere. That's it. I didn't do anything other than that. It just turns it into a sphere. Darkens one side, lightens the other. You can change the position of the light if you so choose. I didn't. I left it as, as was. I quite liked it. Uh, and then what I did was I did a little mask, a little extra layer with a mask that was a circle around the planet. And I added a saber plug in effect. Yay! Video Copilot again! And essentially what you get there, if we just play it, I suppose, you can just about see around the planet, you get a little bit of a wispy haze. A little bit of, I think it may have been their fog, their fog variant of the, the Sabre plugin. And so you just, and again, colour vibrance allows you to change the colour of the planet, the colour of the ring, the colour of the everything. Right, so... What we were supposed to be starting with was this effect here, because this... Hang on, we'll just play it. Uh, That's a very strange effect. And I, I stumbled upon it by accident. Because... Oh, right, yeah, you haven't... Yeah, you've forgotten the key bit. The key bit that you were supposed to be getting to when you first said about how you did this effect. Yeah, I know, I know. Right, carry on. <laughs> 